All right, by popular demand, Canon G7X Mark III Vlogging Setup Mark I, Throwback Edition. First of all, sorry for not uploading in so long, but things have picked up at work and I had to do my tax report for 2018. And if you know me, you know there is a theme. I have a problem with punctuality, so I was kind of late. So that's what I've been up to. But I'm not oblivious to the fact that you guys love the 6400 videos. And I am cooking up one right now called 6400 Cinematics. So that's coming. Now let's check out the G7X Mark III setup. Here's what we need. First off, Canon G7X Mark III. That's a good start. Then 3.5mm 3-pole male to 3.5mm 3-pole female audio adapter cable. A mini microphone, like for example the Etutech ETM008, this one's a little more on the expensive side, or the Etutech ETM001, which is more of a budget option. Both of those are fine because they're gonna get you way better audio than the internal mics will. Microphone wind muffs for wind protection, they come with each of the microphones. Mini dead cat for extra wind protection, you're gonna have to get one of those separately. Plastic cable clamp like this one with adhesive tape on its back. This will serve as the mount for the microphone. A pack of those tiny, tiny rubber bands. They're gonna serve as a shock mount and as a way to increase the diameter of the female part of the audio adapter cable. Then a piece of 3M dual lock, which is a heavy duty, sturdy kind of all plastic Velcro. And it's exactly what the doctor ordered for this setup. There's different types. This one is the low profile black version. Then some kind of selfie stick that fits the whole setup in dimensions and versatility. And the regular Manfrotto Pixie, in my opinion, is the perfect pick. Wow. <laughs> okay, this is really a throwback setup for me. The last time I did a setup like this was with the EOS M3 and M6. It wasn't the beginning of the channel, but very close to it. So throwback G7X Mark III blogging setup. Let's do it. First, take a couple of those tiny rubber bands and then wrap them around the end of the adapter cable. It'll take a while. You're probably going to need 15 to 20 of those tiny rubber bands. Now take the plastic cable clamp and insert the end of the adapter cable like this. You should still be able to close it like that. If you can't, you've used too many rubber bands. Take some away. But this is how it should look like. And now you have the right diameter to fit the plastic cable clamp and a really secure fit. Nothing's gonna wiggle. Next up, 3M dual lock, and we will have to fit a piece to the back of the cable clamp. Take the adhesive cover off, take the cover off the 3M dual lock, and then place it right there. Make sure it's a good secure fit. And this is what we're going for. Cut another piece of the same size, maybe a little slimmer, and then apply it right there. So it looks like this. Then pick a microphone. I'm going with the budget option, the Etutech ETM001 right here. It's an omnidirectional microphone, it's very sensitive, and it's gonna give you way better audio than the internal mics would. Apply the little foam wind muff, then apply the little dead cat, Make sure everything fits correctly. Then this is what this should look like. Now hook it up to our mount and use this little strap to further secure the whole microphone to the mount. This is how the strap needs to sit. And then we're ready to hook up this microphone to the G7X Mark III. Remove the adhesive tape and then place it right there. Obviously, make sure this still opens. And as it happens, this is a near perfect fit. Apply some firm pressure, plug it in, and ta-da! You now got really nice vlogging audio 
for your G7X Mark III. Main menu number one, sub menu number one, option four, sound recording. Switch from auto to manual. Use the reg level selector and then do this. First of all, screw in the selfie stick of your choice. In my case, as I said, the regular tiny Manfrotto Pixie. Then hold the camera on in front of yourself at arm's length or in whatever way that you normally use it to vlog. And then just keep talking with your regular voice with an easily sustainable volume, the way you would when talking into the camera while vlogging. And use the rec level selector to level the audio signal until it levels to round about minus 12, which with the ETM001 will have you end up on the far left. And then you get a really nice quality audio with a super compact form factor using your brand new G7X Mark III. Wind filter attenuator. Wind filter is automatically disabled when you're using an external microphone, which is no problem because this kind of wind protection, foam and micro dead cat is way better than anything the camera could do internally anyway. Attenuator set to auto, that's pretty cool because you're not gonna have a hiss or ambient noise floor if you stop talking because the attenuator will level down the audio once it doesn't recognize any kind of audio signal. So to wrap up this video, I'm gonna do my end monologue once using the internal microphones set to auto, which is what you're listening to right now. Then I'm gonna do it again using the ETM001 manually leveled. And then I'm gonna do it once more using the ETM008 manually leveled. So here it goes, internal microphones, level set to auto. If you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, it's greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. All the tech that I've used in this video is linked in the description. As always, thank you so much for your time, thank you for watching and hopefully see you again soon. So, if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, it's greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. All the tech that I've used in this video is linked in the description. As always, thank you so much for your time, thank you for watching and hopefully see you again soon. So, if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, it's greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. All the tech that I've used in this video is linked in the description. As always, thank you so much for your time, thank you for watching and hopefully see you again soon.